1998 started and created Trisha's Treasures. And basically we were a craft store, consignment shop, you know, 300 square feet in downtown Crandon, rented a space, had an opportunity a few years later down the road to buy my own building, expand, make it a bigger space, hire some people. Um, we had our very own, very first coffee bar in downtown Crandon. So that was really fun. Um, a lot of people weren't sure what an espresso drink was or a mocha or cafe latte. So we introduced them to that. So that was really fun. And we got more and more people coming to Crandon, saw more tourists coming to Crandon. We were right on the main drag, Highway 8. So we were the stop in downtown Crandon. So that was really fun. And then in 2008, the little neighboring building next door uh, was available to purchase. And so we made that decision to purchase and expand the coffee bar into food. And so panini soup salads were on the menu now along with a bigger and better um, drink menu. And we were always um, very passionate about carrying Wisconsin products. So we always had Door County coffee ever since the 1998, we still to do today. It's in Wisconsin, Sturgeon Bay. So we are very happy to serve Door County coffee. We always make our own homemade spreads on our paninis, um, really strong, fresh quality ingredients. So, and that was in 2008. So we brought in, I think we could put 25 people uh, in our bistro at a table, which was super exciting. And then in 2015, we ended up going down the road 26 miles to Rhinelander, opened up our first uh, away from, I guess our second location, if you will, um, away from Crandon. And we opened up Rhinelander, which has really been fun. It's five years old now today as we speak. And um, we actually have a coffee bar in there that um, everyone is regulars now coming in for coffee. That's really fun. And then in 2000. 18, 19, we started our Nina location. It's a little over a year, almost two years old already today. So that's been really fun going to a much bigger uh, market in um, downtown Nina, which to me, I like to classify as the Hallmark uh, channel downtown. So that's really a charming little downtown. So that happened um, just a little over a year and a half ago. Because of COVID in the year of 2020, um, we decided we need to reinvent ourselves and think of other opportunities for Trisha's Treasures to stay open. And so we actually formed an online store now. So Trisha's Treasures is now on the web worldwide. We have been shipped, we've shipped things to Canada and all over the United States. COVID has really opened my mind up to a lot of other avenues of opportunities for me and an expansion of, of team members here in all stores and um, on the online presence. So it's been really exciting. Bye.